Hello, thanks for joining us for our Wednesday devotion once again. I pray our short chat today will encourage you in life and faith. We want to see you doing better in life. We want to see you achieving all that God has called you to be and do. A cheerful disposition is good for your health. Gloom and doom will leave you bone tired. That's from the message. A cheerful disposition is good for your health. Proverbs seventeen twenty two. So when you notice that you are heading towards a downward spiral, a downward path, Remember, the upward spiral is possible. When you're feeling down, look up. These have been trying and testing weeks and months. As we've lived with the realities of life because of the COVID-19, But friends, things are changing. Stay positive is my message today. We are coming out the other side. Here are five thoughts for us to focus on. I'm sure you've heard some of them. Input equals output. The loudest and most influential voice you hear is your own inner voice. Your self-talk. What are you saying to yourself? What are you reading? What are you watching? What are you listening to? Is it positive or negative? Make sure that it's balanced. Make sure that it's slightly more positive than negative. Weed out those things in your life that aren't positive. Weed out those things in your life that aren't helpful. It'll be worth the sacrifice. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 23, we read, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life life. Guard your heart. Let's think about that for a moment. Guard your heart. Protect yourself. Apathy creates atrophy. Apathy is the enemy of fulfillment. If you are apathetic about something, narrow down the why behind it. Some of us have been stuck in our homes far too long. Are you feeling overwhelmed, stressed, unmotivated? What are the negative thoughts and feelings that's going on within you? Philippians 4.8 Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Think about those things. Focus on those things. Do those things. Positive speech is powerful. Words have power. The tongue holds the power of life and death. Don't let it bring death to your mind. Let your inner voice bring life, faith and hope. Proverbs 18.21 from the message, words kill, words give life. 
They're either poison or fruit. You choose. You choose. Choose your words wisely. Choose what you focus on wisely. Believe the best, my friends. Believe the best. Instead of believing everyone hates me, I can't do anything right, I'll never change, start believing the exact opposite. Remind yourself, tell yourself, that God created you. You are his handiwork. You can do this. It might sound a bit cheesy, but it really helps. Let positivity flow out of your life. Be positive. Your outlook will change. Your mood will change. Ground all this in what God says about you. For we are his handiwork. In, chap in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, we are reminded, for we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. We are His handiwork. Strength is born from struggle. Strength is born from struggle. Everyone has struggles. Everyone has disappointments. Just because you encounter a, a positive person, just because you might encounter someone and you think, hey, they've got it all together, friends, really they don't. For we all have had struggles. We've all had disappointments. If you are looking from the outside at someone else's life, feeling discouraged because they seem to have it all together, well, it's simply not true. No one has it all together. Everyone has had struggles. Everyone has had times of disappointment and frustration. But we can learn to keep our mind. We can learn to be people of faith. We can be driven and focused and moving on an upward path. No matter what's happening around us. Romans chapter 5. 3 to 5. We can rejoice. Too, when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how God dearly loves us. Because he has given us his Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to fill our hearts with his love. God sees our struggles. God sees our triumphs. He has, for, he has not forgotten us. Let me close with Isaiah 30, 21. Maybe you know it. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Walk in it. May your ears be open to the word of God, the voice of God. Be people of hope. Be people of faith. Be people of joy. Listen. Listen. Listen to what God wants to say to you.
It's been great to take a few moments today to chat with you. I look forward to connecting with you once again very soon. May God bless you. May he be your hope and joy and strength today and throughout the days ahead. God bless you.